Welcome. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of master-slave settings. What is master-slave? Master-slave is a model for communication in which one device, known as the master, controls one or more other devices, known as slaves. Once the master-slave relationship is established, the direction of control is always from the master to the slaves. Master-slave mode is a fantastic feature if you want to set up two, five, ten or more identical fixtures. Also, you don't need to have a DMX controller. Instead, you can use the built-in programs of the fixture, which offer slow or fast color fades and flashes. The master fixture will send messages to all the other lights in the chain, meaning all lights will be red at the same time, blue at the same time, all strobing at the same time, or even react to sound in the sound active mode, all at the same time. To achieve this, all you need is DMX cables. Let's get our first light set up. We are taking our popular Mega Par Profile fixture and we are going to set it up in Auto Run Mode. Now, Auto Run Mode has three types of modes to choose from. Color Fade, Color Change, and both modes running together. Plug the fixture in and press the Mode button until either AF, AJ, or AJF is displayed. Let's choose a Color Fade using the up or down buttons. This fixture is now considered the master. Now, keep in mind, any one of these units can act as a master or as a slave. However, only one unit can be programmed to act as the master. Now, let's set up another identical fixture with a DMX cable. We will now daisy chain one fixture to the next. Simply plug your DMX cable into your master units, DMX out, to the slave units DMX in. Next, use the mode button on the slave unit until you find the DMX address A or A001. When setting up several fixtures, all slave units will also be set to the DMX address channel of A001. Please note, some fixtures will display A001 to signify slave mode. Other fixtures may use the letters SLAV on the LED menu. The slave fixtures will now follow the master. If you are using several fixtures, use a terminator at the end of your chain. Using a cable terminator will decrease the possibilities of erratic behavior. And there you have our master slave mode basics 101. If you have any further questions, you can always contact our toll free customer support hotline Monday through Friday during normal business hours. Thanks for watching.